Welcome back that guys uh, to uh, the La Nation channel. Uh, today I would like to talk to you on a way I think is a faster way to run your Android uh, emulator. Uh, I used to use this uh, uh, like a couple of weeks ago when I, I still had my old machine and then uh, it was taking so long but this method helped me because it was like almost like half of the time that I was taking if I had to run my uh, emulator from uh, like starting the first run on Eclipse. So uh, what I'm going to advise you to do before doing this, you should first know the name of the virtual machine that you're going to run. I guess on this stage you already know uh, how to find out the name of the virtual machine. And then you uh, need to you don't need to have your Eclipse on and, and uh, the first thing you do will be this uh, before even launching your Eclipse to start your work. So uh, what I will do is to go to uh, where I've installed my Android. So the first thing you have to know that. So uh, in my case, uh, as uh, you can see here, my Eclipse is on the, uh, my, sorry, my Android uh, SDK is installed on the C Android uh, directory. So I have it on this uh, Android SDK uh, Windows uh, directory. So I'm going to open. In that directory, you're going to look for the tools directory. In the tools directory, you're going to look for the emulator.exe. This is the file that we're going to open with certain arguments to, to get uh, our, our work. So uh, what we, what I'm going to advise you to do is to go on uh, the command prompt. So I guess uh, it's CMD. Uh, we're going to launch the command prompt uh, window. So there we are. Uh, what we're going to do, we need to get to that file. But the easiest way, instead of just typing the whole directory, uh, the easiest way to do that is to go back to that emulator.exe fo uh, file select it and just drag it on this window so after you drag it on the window you will realize that the the directory will be there for you so what we're going to do next is to put this argument so we're going to have it that a space first and then a dash and then you have a avd and then you put a space then you enter the name of of your virtual machine mine i know it's 2.3 dash hv uh, going to the next window yeah hvga um <clears throat> let me do this svga and then i'll press enter so as you can see uh this is the first launch of uh, uh my um, <laughs> emulator so uh you will see that uh, it's usually faster than the normal that or it, else it's just the way i think but uh, I believe this is uh, faster than uh, going to the Eclipse and then running it there for the first time. So what I usually do, I launch my emulator first in this way, and then I go to my Eclipse, and then starting to to do my work, because then um, and and leave it on because uh, when you switch it off, then it's going to it's it take longer to load it first and then. Uh, try to load your application so i'll have it there and then uh, on and then work on my application as you can see at the moment uh, it's loaded already so the operating system is there and my emulator is ready to be used so i think this is the uh, faster for me so anyone who want to to, to show to try this way uh, you should so at the moment you can go at this moment you can go to your eclipse and start your work okay i uh, hope to see you on the next uh, a video so i will say goodbye here that was de la nation bye